Here we go, part two. Yeah. Josh, why don't you start part dos? Okay, so the first song I'm going to talk about in part two is uh, Chen Hayes of Yu Jae Hyun's Little Something. Now this song is a SM Station song, uh, Chen being from Chen of EXO fame. Uh, Hayes is this, she's a I'm rapper, pretty, from, she's, from, a pretty rap star. she's an pretty rap star rapper. Wow. Um, I'm not too sure who Yu Jae Hyun, Hyun is from Vibe. Don't yeah. really know what a vibe is. Yeah, I don't really know too much about... Um, I think they're... Uh, I don't know where he shows up in the song. Is he like the producer? Is he... Does he sing in some of the song? I, I, no. I'm actually not entirely no. sure. So uh, Sorry, we should have done more research, but we suck. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of obscure to be honest. Uh, but the reason why I picked this song is because it has a very good like bass line, uh, very like good instrumental throughout. And Chen's voice is very good. I think he does a good job singing, but it might be um, his vocal style or the uh, production. I feel like could it could use a little bit more flavor, mm -hmm. like a little bit more layers or a little bit more catchiness. Um, you know, a little bit more ooze or a little bit more harmonizing or riffs or something. It just sounds like he is singing like the vocal guide for it, rather mm -hmm. than he's actually making the song his own. Um, but that's my only like kind of qualm about it. I think the song is very good. I think it's very catchy. It's my kind of song. Um, so if you agree with like my kind of song, then you really, really should check the song out. Yeah, I didn't really like it. Yeah, Steve didn't really like it, but, but, it's just I, but the fault. thing is, like you say that, but like I, I like these types of songs. Yeah. I just don't think this song does a good job of that. There's like, uh, as you said, like mm -hmm. well, it was kind of weird because you said it. it it needed oomph, and then you were like, it's catchy. It, it. Yeah. But like... I, the catchiness for me is in the instrumental and like in the... Kind in of the, like the melody and the, the bass and... I, I didn't think any of it was catchy. Like, mm. I thought it was like generic instrumental. Mm. Like, yeah, it was it, it was like heavy bass, but like mm. there wasn't any like a rift or any like a mm. bass line that I thought was particularly great. Like, he sings a decent job, right? Mm. But it's... It wasn't like that. That it didn't blow you away. Yeah, it wasn't like that first station song um, by um, the first station song. Tail song. Oh, sorry, the first the one after that. Um, you, it was the EXO song? guy. It was like the EXO guy and like an old Korean singer dude. Oh, Dio and Dio and somebody. But like that one, I was like, damn, Dio, like, mm, damn, you, you got really, some. You uh. were blown away. Yeah, yeah. But like this one, I was just like, it just sounded like he's an okay singer. Mm. It, it, Better than me, by mm. far, right? But okay in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. Although the Hayes's part perfect. was like... Very, meh. very forgettable, Hayes's um, part. Um, so, I, I mean... Yeah. Meh. I, for me, I thought this was a very good vocal guide song. Mm. Um, like, if... So, be it being an SM Station song, they might not have put as much time, like, kind of as into the final product as they might have wanted. 
and I would really, really want to see them kind of make some changes and do some extra things because I think it could be really, really, really a good song. I don't know, maybe. Yeah. Like, you know, station songs mm. are, you know, very hit or miss, right? Like, yeah. there have been some really good ones. There have been some that we haven't even talked about. Yeah. Like, there was one where it was, like, a pianist and a violinist. Yeah. That one was weird. Um, so interesting, SM Station. Like, props to you, SM Station. You're putting out yeah. a lot of, like, very different sounding songs. Yeah, we, I mean, we said some great things about the whole idea, right, of yeah. Station. But, like, I just thought this song was... Was a miss. Boring. It was mm. just kind of boring. Mm. Fair enough. Uh, but you know what wasn't boring? Yeah. Uh, the next song by JYP himself, featuring Conan, Steven Yun, and Pak Ji Min, with their song Fire. Hey, Steven. I really need to have some fun tonight. How do you say, where's the party in Korean? Oh, you just say, Dolte <laughs> Omni? Okay, I got it. Hey, ladies. talk show host Conan O'Brien. Yes, so Conan O'Brien is doing this Conan in Korea series, right? Where he's he and Steven Yeun are going places and doing things, right? Steven Yeun, uh, Yeun, Yeun of uh, Walking Dead. I, th I think it's Yeun. Is it Yeun? Yeah. Fucking English is Y-E-U-N. I think his Korean name is, is Yeun, though, his last name. Oh, my bad. It's well, called. that's but that. I, that I goes back to our Romanese. But I think English account. people say Yun, though. I've heard it as Steven Yun yeah. before. Um, but uh, anyways, uh, so this song was kind of a uh, part, like the the end punch of his his uh, Conan's episode in Korea, mm -hmm. and there was like a long build up. If if you're at least follow K-pop news of like he chose JYP because I think he saw JYP's last music video and mm -hmm. was like, this guy's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Um, and I think this video is pretty, pretty hilarious. Funny. Yeah, it's pretty I don't funny. think it's like Gangnam style level hilarious, hilarious yeah. but like I think it's decently hilarious. Mm -hmm. um, there's like a the the point dance mm -hmm. is like you know, if you're a long fan, long time fan of Conan O'Brien, yeah. he has like that very specific like uh, string dance that yeah. he does, and like that's the point dance in the song, and, I, and it actually kind of looks cool, right? Like. Um, like it could be K-pop choreography. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. it could be one of those like joke K-pop choreographies, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Like a, like a Hyungdung and yeah. you know whatever Defcon, Defcon yeah. kind of choreography. Yeah. Um, uh, and you know, Twice is in it for a little bit. Wonder Girls or some of the Wonder Girls are in it for yeah. a little bit. Um, but even though the song features Park Ji Min, where is she at? She, she ain't nowhere to be seen, yeah. which was kind of hmm. weird and sad. And they, I think they have Twice and the Wonder Girls like mouth. Park Ji Min's part, I guess. Yeah. 
that sucks. Come on, man. Yeah. Like, JYP, I don't know what he's doing with 15and, right? Mm -hmm. Like, he had this group of, like, two vocal powerhouses. powerhouses. Yeah. And then she released, the Park Jimin released, like, a song separately, and she's, like, done some, like... It, it's just they do everything yeah. separately. Yeah. Right? And yeah. I'm like... They could really... But why? Yeah, why? I don't understand why. But, you know, I mean, 15 and didn't, like, go huge. And I and I mainly only like their first song, um, Somebody. Yeah. Really like that song. That song I just remembered it right this second, and I want to hear it again, because I really like that, that song. Good. That song. Um, but I guess it, it makes sense to promote mm -hmm. twice Wonder Girl, though. Yeah, because... Should have got that... Should have got Got 7 in there. I know. Or should have got... Seven. Got fucking 2 p.m. in there. Um, but... I guess Conan... I mean... You don't know Conan. I mean, Conan, I think he's funniest around girls. Because yeah. he's so, like, self-deprecating. And, yeah. like, and so maybe he, he wanted girls. I don't know. Oh, maybe. Um, but, the, but the song itself, because JYP released a, a, a totally separate solo release. Yeah. And what is that song called? Still Alive? I think it's called Still Alive. Still Alive, yeah. And, like, the video of that song is hilarious. Hilarious. It's so funny. It's great. It's yeah. kind of all about how he's, he's been this artist he's, for, like, a long, long time. Yeah. And he's gone from like, you know, cassettes to like... To, to CDs, CDs and CDs to, to like to downloads. Yeah. And the whole thing is like all these young K-pop girl fans like excited to see Got7, Seven. excited to see young, hot, sexy guys. And yeah. and he he's comes like, out... this 40 year guy. Yeah. Like, and like lectures them. And he's like, don't forget like I paved the way for you, your favorite idols and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, the, but this that song, I, I didn't think was very... Catchy, it wasn't, really it wasn't very catchy, but the music video was pretty good. Yeah, and in this song, Fire, I thought the song actually itself is pretty catchy. It's pretty catchy, yeah. Um, in, a, in a joke kind of manner, like I wouldn't necessarily listen to this like seriously, like it's supposed to be like a joke. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, we had listened to it and as we were preparing and sitting down, I'm like, I was singing this song, and, mm -hmm. you know, like... Fire! Yeah, like, I, I, might, I might download this song, right? Yeah. Um, Pretty good. Who knows? It's pretty good, JYP. Mm -hmm. um, trying to think of another transition. You know what else is pretty good? You guys. <laughs> All right. We mentioned Patreon in yeah. the first part, uh, but now we want to mention, of course, iTunes reviews, which mm -hmm. prior to Patreon was one of the best ways to help us was to leave an iTunes review. Um, and so this time we have one, only one, sadly, but can't be sad about each one counts each one counts and this one's from fuzzy the great from canada mm -hmm. and he or she says this is one of my favorite podcasts it's really good for finding new music a lot of which i wouldn't have heard otherwise hearing their thoughts and opinions are really amusing a lot of what they say i wouldn't have thought on my own which Ooh. makes it more interesting good job guys well thank you thank you so much fuzzy the great and uh shout outs to you from Living yeah. in Canada. Yeah. I mean, it's it's pretty interesting that this is one of your favorite podcasts. Yeah. You must listen to uh, a lot of different podcasts. And but... I hope we rank um, among the ones that have like millions of yeah. downloads. It's probably yeah. not true, but you know. I mean, besides podcasts, what else can you listen to, Stephen? Uh, you know, after listening to our podcast, mm -hmm. you know, maybe... I mean, we had a huge-ass long two-and-a-half-hour produced podcast, but like mm -hmm. sometimes... You, you, you still got a long drive. Mm. You still got some chores to do. You know, you should listen to audiobooks. I think that's a great idea. Yeah, you should go to audibletrial.com slash T-W-I-K and you can get a free audiobook from over 180,000 titles from Audible um, to listen to. Yeah. And if you use our link for free, you don't have to pay anything. It's a free trial. We'll get a little bit money from that. You mm -hmm. know, maybe you can't donate on Patreon. Yeah. Right? This is a good way. You got no money. You broke as yeah. shit. You sign up for this. Keep the audiobook. Yeah. Maybe you don't forget to cancel. Yeah, cancel. Before they charge you <laughs> the 30 free days. That gets me. I, I've been screwed by that. Well, it's not screwed. It's all my fault, right? It's not mm -hmm. like they screwed me. Right? I just forgot because I'm an idiot. Yeah. But uh, you can get a, f not only can you get a free book that you will have forever, yeah. even if you cancel, but you give us a little bit of money. Yeah. Well, we appreciate that. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Um,. But yeah, don't forget to leave us any iTunes reviews. Mm -hmm. If you leave one on Canada or any other country, you're going to have to to Twitter message us or uh, email us or, or leave it a comment on, Facebook, on YouTube because I mainly only check 
Mm -hmm. uh, the American, the American one. Yeah, because we use we are American. Yeah, we are American. Although mm -hmm. we've been in Korea for quite a long time, Josh. That's true. Yeah. And I'm getting really sleepy. Hang in there, buddy. So we got two more songs. Like like Fuzzy the Great said, uh, we do like to introduce new songs that maybe you guys haven't heard of. And the next song I want to talk about is a song that I am almost 100% sure you have not heard before. Yeah. So, so uh, only 49 people have heard this yeah, song. Yeah, so um, this song is TK with One More Night. Now, this song we talked about kind of very strange electronic kind of music that that's not very mainstream and this song is one of those songs like it is very 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 synth heavy like almost to a fault i yeah. think and it's a little too much at times yeah a little bit too much at times but i think this is a really really good like kind of r&b song it's yeah. definitely my style of music um i can see this not gaining like mainstream popularity it's definitely like my kind of style of music of like r&b baby making sexy time music and this song is, as the title says, One More Night, um, might be about that, right? So what do you think about those songs, dude? I mean, I really did like this song. Yeah. Um, takes some time to ramp up there, and especially in the music yeah. video. It like, takes like a goddamn time. 40 seconds, 50 seconds, something like yeah. that. Yeah, but you time. see the guy kind of start, like, acoustically on the piano, mm -hmm. and then the, the synth kind of starts coming wah, in. Wah, 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 um, wah, 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 wah. But I thought his his voice is, is really good. He, he, does, he goes... There's like a part where like I really did expect him to like sing and go down, yeah. but he decides yeah, he to sing and go up, up and he keeps yeah. going up and I was like, damn, son. Okay, sure you go. Looks like a pedophile, but you know. Whatever. Yeah, he's got this weird like pedophile mustache. It's like Asian, a lot of Asian guys can't grow mustaches, Stephen and I being a few of those. And his looks so puby and crusty and just, just want to shave it off. Um, but this music but, video has 49 views as yeah. of right now. So you should be the fiftieth, or you yeah. know, the fifty-fifth. I'm. I, we don't garner that much traffic, you know. No, like I not. wish, I, you know. I wish one of those dreams. I wish we had some clout because mm. I really wish we could recommend it. So I wish we could be Susie, right? I wish mm. we could rec recommend a song and it gets legit. And like know. ninety thousand chingas are listening to it. Yeah, that would be. I mean, that's the dream. Yeah, but uh, you know, we gotta go one step at it. So. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I actually do like, I'm going to download this song. Yeah, like there are other songs can. that I'm not going to download. I'm not going to download that NCT it, it, song. We can't but like, even oh, download no. this song. Like, I mean, worst comes to worst. You yeah, are going to audio, we're going to rip it from <laughs> sure. Yeah, just rip it straight from YouTube. I, but I'd buy it if I could. Yeah. That's a lie. I don't buy music anymore. Oh, shh, shh, shh. 
Shh, don't tell them that. I mean, we're law abiding sure. citizens here at This Week in K pop. I used to, so here's the thing I used to buy all my songs, and, mm. um, I as did I, yeah, and then I switched to Android when I got here, mm. and uh, I stopped buying songs because A. Android, it's really easy to pirate songs. Mm -hmm. And also B, like, I had all my iTunes songs in iTunes and I bought them all. I didn't want to split my uh, mm -hmm. my, my monies, right? Mm -hmm. Once you're locked in, you're locked in, right? Mm -hmm. But then once I switched back to my iPhone, I still don't have a song. <laughs> for me, I just stream all my songs now, so. Yeah. But even you paying for streaming... It hasn't been that long, right? Like it's only no, been like one, like like one month. Year, I can right? stream like however many times I want, and it's like four dollars a month. Yeah, but you haven't been paying for that service for that long, have you? No, maybe like five months. Yeah. So what'd you do before that? Hmm? Downloaded my songs. Shh. Well, but but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the hard truth. We're shitty people. We're not great. People. I'm not gonna lie. We're, we're not. I, I download a lot of things. We're not role models. No. Like I, like I watch a lot of TV. You do. I download all of it. Download all. Of it. But partially that's because we fucking live in Korea. Yeah. And if I want to watch TV, right, I'm gonna. I need to download it. Yeah. Uh, I pay for a lot of movies. Move. I love movies. Mm -hmm. Um, pay for all my games. I pay for way too many games. Mm -hmm. Um, music. It's really hard. You know, it's really mm -hmm. hard. I think it, this is like. I mean, I don't know if the FCC is going to fucking come down on me right now. They're like, we got them up here. And if they do, fuck. But, like, I started, you know, my first time I ever wanted a song, like, fucking Napster, you know, man? Mm -hmm. Like, that's just, like, mm -hmm. in our blood is pirating music. Yeah. You know? I stopped. I stopped for a very long time. I, I, I have, As did I. But then I realized, you know how many songs I have to download to, like, put in our podcast? Like, yeah. Like, like, if I bought every song that we put in our podcast... We would go bankrupt. We would be well, not going bankrupt. I mean, we both have real jobs, right? But, like... Yeah, but it would be a... Like, I already... It costs a lot more to release yeah, podcast. Prior to Patreon, it already cost me money, right? Like, mm. well, I'm not Serve, complaining. This server is just, costs and all yeah, that, right? Like, uh, up, up, uploading our podcast, uh, all the uh, stuff that we buy, right? But, like, if I had to buy the music, too, Ooh. every episode would cost, like... Ooh. 40, 40, you know, it would cost money. It would cost like 40, 50 Which we should do. Well, actually, technically, like, technically, I'm 99% sure we shouldn't even be putting the audio into the thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's... On YouTube, it's fine. On YouTube, it's fine because they just, they take all the ad revenue. Mm -hmm. Like, we don't get any ad revenue on, yeah, on yeah. most of we don't We don't get any money YouTube from YouTube, things. like, not even a cent. Uh, yeah, because of we put the songs in. Yeah. Um, and I used to, that's why I like the after show, because yeah. we didn't, but then we started putting music in the after show. Yeah. Um, anyways, uh, long story short, I'm sleepy. Long All story right. short, we're not good people. Yeah, let's, let's talk about the last song, because we All suck right. as people. Um, this guy seems like a, a great person, not a shitty person like us. But you never know. But you never know. <laughs> uh, his name is um, Sam Kim, and this song features Crush. Uh, with their song, No Nunchi. Nega nega monza mata da go head son Are you women? Can't understand no. I told you once, I told you twice, I told you every day. Who's the same Girl, you stay with me. I 
What's nunchi mean? Uh, nunchi is a non-translatable word. Mm -hmm. The the best translation I would say is like you have like a sense or like kind of like a sixth sense for things. Oh, I've heard. Yeah, I've heard this. Yeah, so I've it's like nunchi. so saying like uh, if you don't have nunchi when it comes to like oh, girls, like social situations, like you don't catch on to social cues mm -hmm. or you're not very considerate in terms of like social cues. Thinking or, about yourself too much. Yeah. yeah. And uh, if you have like no nunchi when it comes to like, uh, you know, boyfriend or girlfriend, it means you're not very considerate. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but despite that description, I, I, I definitely like this song more than Josh. I think so. Um, yeah. But like, I really like, so Sam Kim, he was the runner up K-pop star three. Yeah. Sign Antenna Music. Yeah, Yui Cho. Yeah, his company. And he had a song last episode that uh, yeah. we we listened to and you actually liked, but I, yeah. I think ultimately it didn't. Did it even make... It didn't make the cut, I don't think. Why can't we remember what we've done ourselves? I know, it's because Steven and I, like, we have such horrible memories and, you know, we we spend all day watching these videos and when it comes time to talk about them, we forget them. Yeah, we even started running notes and yeah. we still forget things. Oh, we're so bad. Um, anyways, um, so he's a, he's a chingo with a guitar. Yeah. Um, last time's song that I don't know if we talked about, like, it was about, like, his mom, right? It was about yeah. him, because he's from... Either Canada or, or America or some English country. Was it that country. song? Yeah. Was it that song about like how you, it really, really yeah, hit, yeah. hit me in a... I f I'm pretty sure we talked about... Was that Sam Kim? Yeah. I'm sure. I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm 99% I'm sure. Yeah. Um, anyways, this song starts very acoustically, right? Yeah. And it starts like a song, I think you mentioned it. It starts like a song that you would hear from like a dude on the street buskering. Yeah, but it's very good. But like a good version. Or maybe like, it sounds great for like a YouTube song. Yeah, like it, like he, his guitar playing skills are like on the level like Eddie Kim. Good. Yeah. Like he's getting that for the guitar. Yeah. Like he, he's not just like, you know, strumming four chords. Yeah, yeah. It's not he's Roy like, Kim in it. He's like, you know, slapping it and like hammering yeah, 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 yeah. And, you know. And, and, but like the, this singing style, I really like this singing style. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, it's not produced it mm. sounds more like a live they capture like a live mm. track he it's got a lot of ups and downs in his voice it's got a lot of like he could have gone this way but he decided to go this way with his mm -hmm. voice at this time it's got a lot of personality like I think. kind of yeah 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 mm. um there's a lot of like like building of, of like starts with a guitar but mm. then like the like the Instruments keyboard comes in, in yeah. the other guitars are coming mm -hmm. in and and i really like songs where like i can pinpoint exactly which instrument is doing what mm -hmm. and i can hear it very clearly because mm -hmm. in general k-pop is very loud and smushed together which which yeah. i also like on its own things yeah but that's part of the reason i like boopity boops yeah, yeah um because i'm like i can hear that boopity boop you yeah. know um and, and for me like i do like the song maybe not as much as you like you said but for me, I, I think the reason why I have an issue with this song is because for 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 a produced song, I want to hear a produced song. Mm -hmm. And this song, I feel, would be really, really good if I heard it live. Mm -hmm. Like, if I heard it live, I'd be, like, totally into it. Like, yeah! Like, totally getting into it because, you know, the musicians are very good. His voice is very good. He's mm -hmm. really getting off the guitar, keyboard. Like, all the instruments, they're playing very, very well. It, for me it's like it should be a live performance mm. and maybe that's like kind of holding me back like i don't want to see a taped version of a live performance like i'd rather go see it firsthand mm. yeah but i mean i can kind of get you there like yeah. it does sound like like i like the song but like not i would like it more if i heard it live i mm. think is what i want to say like it's it's weird to me because like it i think it's impressive i think it's a very impressive mm. show of his skill i mean he's not like Wendy Houston, right? He's not yeah, yeah, yeah. Mama Moose singing quality, but like Chingu with a guitar mm -hmm. in that realm, like it's I think it's good. just pretty good. Yeah. Um, and maybe it's in a weird way, like so good or so um, variable, like, mm. right? Like he does a lot of riffing and a lot mm -hmm. of like seemingly kind of uh, yeah. off the cuff kind of things with his voice that you're like, it's like counter uh, yeah like I, like the way i would describe it is like i'm i'm also really into like kind of blues rock and blues rock i don't like to listen to like recordings 
-hmm. I really, really like to see people play live, um, especially kind of like, you know, in, in like yeah. small venues and yeah. things like that, because I feel those songs kind of have a kind of a feel, kind of have like an mm. environment to them. And like this song, like, I don't want to see a music video about it. I don't want to see. But like, what if this was called Sam Kim featuring Crush No Nunchi live version? And it was probably, the exact same. I'd, I'd probably like it better. Uh, it was the exact same thing, but it just called it maybe, live. I mean, maybe, maybe that's what's holding me up. But like, weird. Yeah, yeah, it's really weird of me. But I, I, I still think it's a very good song. Yeah. Yeah. But I, but I thought at, at first I'm like Sam Kim and Crush. It's like that's kind of a weird combination. Are they both gonna sing? Like, yeah, they both gonna sing. And even if they both sing, they have the such voices are different. totally different voices. Yeah. Um, so but, Crush was like, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna rap. I'm gonna rap." <laughs> um, and his part is. Forgettable. Yeah, it's forgettable. Not, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not memorable. It's not awful. Mm. It's not like Mumbiol random rapping, yeah, right? Yeah. Like it fits with the song. He does a little bit of sing rapping, right? Yeah. He goes um, in and it goes out, and it's like yeah. okay. It's but I really do like the Sam Kim's. Like mm. I like I like this like I liked that first few Eddie Kim songs mm. where I was like, Man, this dude is taking Chingo with a guitar down. to another level. Mm. And this is like taking it to like the the buskering level, right? Mm -hmm. the, the the live college student like impressing rando girls yeah. like kind of style, yeah. which may not be the most technical, but it's but I I like that style. I mean, when I first heard Eddie Kim and like you know that the manual. Oh, the manual. Like, I I kind of felt the same way as like I felt about this song. I felt mm -hmm. like oh man, I I need to hear this guy live like this yeah. like kind of just album is not doing him justice but then like the more i listen to the album the more i really really got hooked and i ended up liking eddie kim more than you know so. i do think to your point maybe it's just the way they shot it because they just mm. shot it like a performance right mm. like the manual was an actual like they were in another country and they were doing mm. drama y things right like mm. it was an actual music video that tried to be a music video mm. and maybe this one it, it's this weird dichotomy of like it looks like a live performance but it's not a live performance mm. but like you want it to be a live performance yeah. so um, is basically we just sum it all up that Josh is weird. I think we both weird. I think if anything, I'm the weird one. But uh, yeah. But you know what? I think that's it for this rel actual pretty dang short podcast. Um, I'm tired. Josh is tired. I'm very tired. I mean, it was a long day. Yeah. And uh, hopefully, and we're happy that we got this out on time. We, we were very, we were like, now that this Patreon shit is going on, people are do donating their money. We got to be on point with our releasing schedule. Don't so. say that we might, you know. We that might I might have up. just jinxed it, but like, we, we were like, we were going to do it before the wedding. Actually, mm -hmm. it was good that we didn't do it before because we would have like, really been rushed. We would have really been rushed because yeah. um, we were like, oh, the wedding's at five, but like, I had to go help out our neighbors at like three to. To mm. babysit and it was weird um but anyways i hope you like this episode the after show um we don't know exactly what the after show will be about yeah. we will probably talk more in depth about minzy and 21 maybe yeah um, we'll definitely mention that whole situation yeah but we're going to record that next week yeah um, which has been the trend recently mm. we used to record them on the same day but yeah um it's, it's been a long day and you know now that we're at the end of course don't forget about patreon Support us if you can. If you yeah. can't, like, you know, you can comment on iTunes. You can, you know, and, and I Audible. will, um, I will be looking into setting up just a, a PayPal account mm -hmm. because we had a couple people say they, they don't want to commit to a monthly donation yeah. because their income is variable. And so they want to do like a one time donation yeah. when they have the money. Which is really, um, really touching to me because, like, yeah. for people who don't have a like I guess quote unquote set steady income like and they still want to donate to us that really just like that's really touching to me I that feel you bad now that us. now that we also said we don't pay for music well I mean I I buy albums when I like them I support I, I guess I support artists that I do like but what so I but now that you started streaming mm -hmm. like for example I used Apple Music for a while mm -hmm. right which is the streaming service on Apple but like I wouldn't need to buy anything, right? Because you're streaming everything, right? Mm -hmm. But then once you stop the streaming service and all your sh shit's gone, and... I'm in trouble then. Yeah, because we, you know, when Apple Music came out, we got three months free, right? And I was using it, I'm like, hot damn, like there's K-pop, so I can download any song instantly right away, I can listen to it. But when, so it, when it's over, I was like, oh shit, like, 
either I need to go back and buy all of these songs at once or I can just pirate it, you know? Yeah. Um, Anyways, we were asking for money, and then we went on a tangent. Um, I mean, I, but I will set up for a PayPal account. I think we... Um, this is a long shot, okay? If anybody is, like, in financing... Yeah. If anybody knows if it's better for me to use my own personal PayPal for this, or... Set up a whole, a like... A set up of This Week in K-pop. Maybe not even a company, but at least a separate account entity. that's not my yeah. own PayPal account. If you know the correct answer to that statement, please tell us because yeah. I don't know. I wouldn't necessarily. I wouldn't necessarily say that's like finance. It might be more law than or tax law. Yeah, I guess if you're in that business, if you in that business major, you know, because um, I sure as hell wasn't. Yeah. Um, I, I was in economics, but God damn it, you me. fucking useless, man! I was in math. I can do my math. Actually, I'm. <laughs> I'm not great at math anymore off the top of my head. I did help. I did help a student the other day. I was like, damn, I remember this. Uh, I can't believe I remember this. Um, yeah. All right. But that's it for episode 89. We'll see you guys next week for the after show show. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What is that? Who's dying?